We'll guide you through how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC using DS4 Windows. DS4 Windows is a great application for helping you use your PS5 controller on your PC and with games. And just before we get much further, if you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and also liking the video. Now, the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like. And then just go and search for DS4 Windows like so. And the official website is ds4-windows.com. Come here and then just go to the top right and go and tap on download and then just go and click on download again. And it will then go and start downloading. After it's finished downloading, go and close off your browser like this and open up your file explorer and go to the downloads folder. I'm now in my downloads and here's the file here. It's a zip file. So what you want to do is just drag this onto your desktop like this. Then just go and double click on the zip file like this and what you want to do is go and click on extract all or you can right click on it and also press extract all as well uh, and then it's automatically going to go and create this folder for you and you can then go and tap on extract like this and just like that it's now extracted it to this folder on your desktop and then what you can do is double click on the folder then go into DS4 Windows again and then what you want to do is locate ds4windows.exe and double click on it like this. And then it's gonna go and say, pick where you want profiles and settings to be saved. I put program folder, we're getting the first launch. So you can close off your file explorer. And then what you want to do is go and tick the controllers you want to go and use. So for PS5, we want the second one here, DualSense device support, and you can then go and tap on close. And then you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up, which you need to go and agree to. And then we're going to have this list of things we need to do here. So we need to go and install the driver here. So just click on it and it's going to go and download it. And it will then go and open up the installer. I'll click next. Uh, I'll agree to the license terms. I've read them before and then press install again. So wait for this to finish. If you're on Windows 7, you'll need to do something else, but I'm not. So I can scroll down and click on finish just like so. There's also an update, so I'll just go and quickly update it now as well. And just like that, we've now gone and installed DS4 Windows. And what you want to do is go to the bottom right and go and press start. And then what you want to do is it's now started. We now need to go and connect our PS5 controller to our PC. There are two different options for connecting your controller to your PC. You can either use the wire or Bluetooth. I think it's best to use the wire when first doing it just because it's the simplest way. So all you need to do is grab the cable that your controller and console came with. And what that cable is, is a USB-C to USB-A. So this end here plugs into the top of your controller up here. And then the other end will go and plug into your computer. And just like that, after you plug your controller in, it's now appearing in DS4 Windows. If you want to connect your PS5 controller using Bluetooth, then all you need to do is go and open up your Windows settings. So go and click on the Windows button at the bottom, or just tap on search and type in settings. Otherwise, I'll just click on settings here. Then go over to the left and tap on Bluetooth and devices, and then click on add, add device like this. Then click on Bluetooth. And then what you need to do is put your controller into pairing mode. To do that, go onto your controller and you need to hold this top button in the left and then the PlayStation button. So hold them just like that and then your controller will start flashing blue and this means that it's in pairing mode. And it will then appear on your computer and you can then go and click on it like this and it should shortly go and say connected like that. And then if we come back to DS4 Windows, as you can see, it's now appearing here. So after you've connected it, either using Bluetooth or with the wire, you're now ready to go and start using it inside of games. And as I said before, DS4 Windows is just really good. Uh, it's just a really good driver for using your PS controller on your computer. So yeah, get into games and it's important to know that you can go and change the controller settings in certain games as well. So make sure you check that out. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.